Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. This is going to be for the weekend, um, and I think we had quite a few sales to go through, so it is actually Sunday night. We're getting a good head start. We haven't done that for the past few weeks because our sales haven't been that great, but this weekend has been pretty good. I'm going to turn it over to Kathy, and we're going to see what's sold for us over the weekend. Hey, guys. Yeah, we have a lot, so we're going to break it up. I think we have 30 already. Um, so As of Sunday like... night, it is almost 10 o'clock yeah. Sunday night. So <laughs> so we're going to do 10 because we want to package them up tonight too because we're kind of busy tomorrow. So yeah, it's hard to fit more than 10 on the table at yeah. once. So yeah, let's just jump right in. Okay, so I sold some crocs. A bunch of what I sold is in this bucket because I literally just listed like a ton of shoes last night. So yeah, the first ones are these crocs. These sold on Facebook Marketplace for $20. I'm gonna say plus shipping, even though it's free shipping, like the shipping's not coming out of my pocket. So some reason, I didn't, I don't know how, but uh, Facebook off is offering like 40 free shipping labels and it doesn't seem to be like for everyone because I asked about it on my Instagram stories. Right. And more than half of the people said they didn't get anything like that. And a lot of people said they got like 20 instead of 40. So I don't know. I'm we don't know the logistics probably, of it, yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel like it's happened to other people before and it didn't happen to me. So it probably just, you know, they do a few at a time is my guess, but <laughs> I'm not sure. So anyways, I'm really happy about it. I'm going to go hard on Facebook for it. It only lasts till June 4th. So um, I hope I can make 40 sales between right. now and then just on Facebook. Because that could save us yeah, a few I mean, hundred dollars. Yeah, people will definitely buy knowing that they don't have to pay the shipping. So anyways, that was... The buyer only had to pay 20 bucks. I get a free shipping label. I paid $6.99 for the shoes, so really happy about that. And then a pair of gray shoes. I just pull these two down just because yeah, I don't like digging them out <laughs> the closet on yeah. the video. Um, yeah, so these are actually sold both pairs of these this weekend. The last of this colorway that color. I had yet. So those sold. I think these sold on Facebook. I The other one sold somewhere else. So these ones sold on Facebook for 25 plus shift. And I have 10 into each of those. CJ. Reezy's up here. He's already had his dinner, so he's just going to chill out. <laughs> uh, so these are some Allen Edmonds. I almost didn't buy these because the bottoms are pretty rough. But, I mean, Allen Edmonds, they just retail for so much, and it's just hard to leave them because, I mean, I've had some good sales with them. So these sold for $25 plus ship. Um, I have $6.99 into the shoes. And those sold on Facebook, if I didn't say that. Yeah, and there's not going to be any order yeah. of platform here. Yeah, I mean, I kind of printed here. them in order, but then I got them out of order. So. Yeah. Um, another Facebook sale, which I think is in here. And a lot of these, uh, a lot of things sold out of this bin just because she's listed them recently and they sold quick and we haven't had a chance to put them away. So we'll probably be picking a bunch of stuff out of here. I need to double check the size before we put them in a poly mailer, but because I have like two Carhartt shorts, but I'm pretty sure it's these ones that sold. And they sold for $20 um, on Facebook. And I have those i got the same day as i did the harley haul so even though the shorts were probably like 5.99 since i average cost of goods i'm calling it 10.67 into the shorts so not the best flip if right. you're looking at it that way but <laughs> <laughs> all the harley shirts have been selling off great so. and that's the trade-off with averaging your cost you know obviously it's gonna be not optimal <laughs> sometimes <laughs> so this guy is shrek um, one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. Um, so I just bought this only because I used to like Shrek for no other reason than that. <laughs> um, it is a Build-A-Bear. I don't usually pick up like a lot of plush, but I do like Build-A-Bears. This one sold for 15 on Facebook. And I have $1.99 into him. So. And he was getting a lot of interest, but people kept like asking for like really low prices. Mm. Which, because of the Facebook free shipping this week, I think is why he sold. Because he's over a pound, so, I mean, it's hard to charge $9 shipping for a stuffed animal. Right. But, yeah, so glad it sold this week. All right, so box V. All right, got these, all these mini Bowden shorts, which were just my son's. 
I think both my kids have worn these at this point and I accepted a $20 offer on them just because I've had them listed for so long. Um, I think I probably paid about 40 originally for them, but we got some wear out of them and because they were listed for so long, I was happy to take it. All right, then I sold some Echo sandals. Well, <laughs> got one of them. So I just listed these last night before bed and I woke up to an offer on Posh. I listed them high at 59. Well, I saw comps on eBay were like 40 to 50 plus ship. So I listed mine at 59 on Posh and accepted a $40 offer. And then when I went to delist them from the other platforms, I noticed they already had three watchers on eBay. So if you see this type of Echo Sandal, <laughs> I would say pick that up because yeah. if they didn't sell on Posh this morning, they probably would have sold on eBay by end of day. So I don't know why not all Echo is going to sell that quickly. I like the brand in general, but yeah, most of them don't sell that high or that quickly. So yeah, Interesting. that was a really good flip. And, yeah. all right, AS. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren women's golf skirt. Um, I picked this up at TJ Maxx, so retail arbitrage. I paid $12 for it. The, you can see, retail MSRP was $148. I thought I could get $40 to $50, but it just wasn't really selling at that price, so. Finally got a $30 offer, I just accepted it. So basically doubled my $12, and I'm okay with that. Uh, men's golf stuff definitely does a lot better for me than women's. I have another pair of play sandals. And so these ones sold on Poshmark for 30, and I think it, it was a full price sale, so I might have to wait one more hour before I can package <laughs> these up, so. Yeah, but $30, and I'm going to have 10 into those, so really good. And then last sale before we cut for a minute. Um, this is going out to a viewer. If you guys noticed, we uh, we got this hole upstairs nice and clean. Yeah, that was my goal for today. Yeah, we it? spent a good uh, afternoon, a few hours, getting everything mm -hmm. clean and organized. We organized the closet. <laughs> And the floor. The stuff on the table, we have plans to finish up over the week. Yeah, so those shoes are photographed. It's good to start the week off fresh, I yeah. think. <laughs> um, so these are going out to Pam. So Pam, thank you so much. They are some dance go like Chelsea boots. Um, really cute. And I just list listed these today um, for $59.95, I think, plus ship. And I sent her an offer not knowing she was a viewer or anything on eBay. Uh, 54 plus ship, so about 10% off, and oh. she accepted. So, Pam, thank you so much. Okay. I hope these shoes, I hope you love the shoes. Um, so, yeah, these were also purchased the same day as the Harley shirt, so $10.67 into those. Awesome. Thank you so much for the support, Pam. Yes, and then actually those shoes, as soon as Pam bought them, I was, like, in the middle of something, and I didn't get a D-list them right away, and they sold on Facebook, like, literally three minutes after wow. her purchase. So. Had to cancel that. Um, people always ask, you know, do yeah. you double sell? Almost never. I mean, right. that's the first time in a long time. Five times a year, time. maybe. Yeah. Like it's it's very very <laughs> rare. Um, so yeah, and normally if that happens, it's while we're asleep or something. So. All right, we just got another sale yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, it's been a crazy weekend. I don't <laughs> know why, because we were doing our garage sale all weekend, kind of ignoring the online stuff. But yeah. It's been great. So. Yeah, we'll all get right. these packed up and be right back. We have more to pack, yes. or more to pull, so. <laughs> all right, we got that first batch all packed up, ready to go, and I think we got another 10 or 11 more to pick. All right, let's just jump back in. So E, so a pair of Wrangler jeans. Uh, we sold on eBay for 16.33 plus ship. That was an offer I sent, I believe. Um, and then I have 350 into the jeans. And box S. These are just some men's Columbia shorts. Um, I picked these up when we were in Nebraska for, I did pay a little bit up for them. I paid $6.99 just because these usually sell at least 20 plus ship. 
um, which is what these sold for. They sold on Facebook for 20 but again, the buyer did get free shipping, but not out of my pocket. Right, and then see. This is my lone kid is in sale for the weekend. <laughs> um, one of my son's shirts that he never got around to wearing. It's uh, Riley and Crew says shine on bright star on it. And I don't remember where I bought that or what I paid for it, but I sold it on Kizim for $33.25 plus shipping. So I'll, I'm sure I made all my money back at least. All right, and then these Nike flip-flops. Yeah, so after our garage sale last night, we only did the garage sale for a few hours in the morning, but I did get around to listing 19 pairs of shoes. And I want to say seven or eight of them I've already sold the, of those 19 that wow. I listed. It's just nuts. Um, Which is why they're all in this. Yeah, and right I here. did cross post them all at the same time instead of like you know waiting at all. So yeah, these sold on Mercari for twenty dollars plus shipping, in just a couple hours of being listed. Um, I have four ninety nine into those. I know they always sell right around twenty plus ship, so I'm perfectly happy with a ten dollar profit. All right, and I sold. Matilda Jane strawberry shirt <laughs> that I got at an estate sale. So my average cost of goods from that sale was two sixty five, and I sold it for fifteen plus ship. Right, and then I sold these, which I had never heard of the brand before. Um, but I don't know. I just thought they were an interesting looking shoe, so I looked them up, um, and they wear a golf shoe. The brand is True Links Wear. Um, and I was looking them up last night before I listed them, and they seem to retail for like 150 to 200 bucks. So um, I listed them last night, and they sold today. So really good again. I listed them for 50 plus ship, and we had like a nine or 10 percent off sale running. So buyer paid 45, 45 plus shipping, and I have 9.99 into them. So really good sale. Yeah, definitely look them up, or if you find these, pick them up. I would say. For how fast they sold and for the amount they sold for. So was there a lot of comps for that? Or? Yeah, there actually was. I think just it was over not 100% with. sell through rate on the brand. Okay. I've been trying to take note of that when I'm like <laughs> looking up stuff now. Check and sell through rates, very yeah. handy. Um, so BL. So one of these Cabana Life swimsuits. Um, I have $10 into them. And it sold for $27.25 plus shipping on eBay. And I still have probably close to 20 of these left if anybody needs one for their daughter. <laughs> they're a size 10 girls. So it was a big really retail nice. arbitrage. Yeah, they're really nice, got. like three piece sets. Um, they retail for like 60, I think, and I'm happy to get around 30 for them. So, yeah, let me know. You can find them on pretty much any of the platforms or. I would say DM me on Instagram, but I'm so behind on messaging yeah. people there. So probably the best way is just to go to a platform and buy it. <laughs> um, if I see you're watching it or anything like that, I'll definitely send an offer. All right, DB. These are some Allegria slide sandals. And I actually picked these up last summer, so they've taken a while to sell. But I only had $4.99 into them, and they sold for $27.25 plus ship on eBay. I found the old and the new this week. So you can say this, you can see this says I4, which means it's a very, very, very old listing. Yeah. Uh, this was actually, I think, a shirt that was in Chris's closet. Um, and I'm pretty sure we bought it at an estate sale years ago because pretty much all of his clothes come from estate sales or mm -hmm. Goodwill or something. So um, if I'm correct and we got it at the estate sale, we only have about two bucks into the shirt and it sold for $10 plus shipping on eBay. And so the reason the I-4 means it's old is because when we first started using this inventory system, we started individually numbering each package inside of here so there'd be like g1 through 15 or 20 or whatever and then we would just put a sticker over it thank and you I sticker realized it was a waste of time yeah <laughs> it's, it's super easy it. to find what you're looking for if you're only looking through 15 things and you keep it as random as possible um, so we just quickly discovered that yeah it wasn't worth doing all that time of numbering them <laughs> all right 
And then I sold these Teva sandals. They're kind of like a sandal Mary Jane type shoe. Um, I, again, just listed these either last night or today. I listed them at 50. I was seeing comps on eBay around 40 plus ship. So uh, on Posh, I listed them at 50. And then I sent an offer of 30% off with discount shipping. So this buyer paid 35 and 4.99 ship. So pretty good sale still. Um, these came from the Harley day as well. So 10.67 average cost of goods into those. And then finally sold one of the new newly listed bras. Mm -hmm. Perfect coverage 38G and it's a black one. This one right here sold for $22.70 plus shipping on eBay. All right, so we'll pack these up now <laughs> and be right back again. All right. All right, we added that to the mix and I think we have another 10, yeah. <laughs> maybe 11. We'll see. <laughs> This was that sale that we heard the ding in the beginning. Right, so this is just an Oakley t-shirt that we got from the bins in Denver, um, part of the Stimulus Shirt Challenge. Sold for $12 plus shipping, and we have $1.37 into that. All right, BP. Vintage Carhartt work pants for $55 with discount shipping on Posh. Um, so the discount shipping was $4.99. Um, and I have $7.99 into the pants. So really good sale there. Oh, this is going out to a viewer. Um, Let me see. <laughs> I'm worried I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but I think it's Yari. Um, she bought this, I think, on Friday night, and I felt bad because I knew I wasn't going to be able to ship on Saturday because we were doing our garage sale, um, and our post office just closes so early on Saturdays. And she was just super kind and said, don't rush, you know. <laughs> um, I don't even care if you ship it out next Friday. She just loved the shirt and was excited to support us. So if I'm saying your name wrong, please let us know. But um, Yari... Thank you so much for your purchase. She bought this mountain, the mountain shirt. Um, it has like wolves on it. And she paid $17 plus shipping. That was an offer I sent her. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much. I have $4.99 into the shirt. That's more than I would normally pay for a t-shirt, but I just really like the mountain yeah. stuff. So <laughs> I always right. pick it up. Thank you so much for the support, Yari. Yeah. All right, sorry guys, the camera was recording kind of blurry. I just reset my phone, so sorry about the last few minutes. It was a little blurry. All right, so BQ. Uh, Under Armour leggings. All right, so these are also from the bins in Denver. I think it was from Denver. Um, so part of the stimulus check challenge, uh, I have $1.31 into them, and they sold for $13.60 plus shipping. They're just boys' leggings. Um, if they were men's, they'd sell more like $20 to $25, I'd say. All right, these, next one is, I think this is AL, but my writing is kind of bad. <laughs> right here. All right. Yeah, so these are some Donald Kleiner sandals, which... I told myself if these took a while to sell, I'm never picking up Donald Kleiner again. <laughs> and these took a while to sell, like over a year, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, not picking up again. I have 353 into these and I sold them for $15 plus shipping in after a year. So not worth it. I don't know why. I mean, that's not my style, but they do feel like a nice sandal. I don't know. I know <laughs> Donald Kleiner retails for a ton. Yeah. But if it doesn't resell for a ton, I don't need to be picking it up. We got plenty of other things that we can source. <laughs> um, and then these are some cool shorts. And if you don't know the cool logo, oh, you can't see it that good. But do you ever see that little mountain logo? You see it? <laughs> yeah. little. So that's the cool logo. It's a good brand in general, even if it's in pretty rough shape. I would probably still pick it up so I got these at Goodwill for $4.99 sold them on eBay for $34.95 plus shipping really good sale and yeah. those are pre-owned so $40 for a pair of shorts pre-owned basically all right 
and then some crops. So just listed these last night. They sold, I'd say, in under an hour on eBay for $24.95 plus ship. I have $7.99 into those. And we listed those as men's. I remember you asked me if, yeah. if you wanted to. I can't remember if I listed them as men's. The person who bought it is a man. <laughs> so probably I listed them as Because they are unisex. And yeah. what some people do is they'll list it twice have but two different listings since we already cross post it's right just, <clears throat> for us we like to just list once if it doesn't sell for a while we'll change it over on the size yeah so the bottom says women's 10 11 or men's 8 9 if it's like men's 6 i would probably list it as one right because six is not a lot of men have a size six yeah. but i mean youth i guess but yeah so those i don't know what i listed them up either way they probably would have sold in a day so and then these other pair of crocs these are men's flip-flops sold also, right away, pretty much, twenty four ninety five plus ship, um, and I have five dollars and sixty three cents into those. So, love Crocs. <laughs> yeah, Crocs do really well for us. All right, w. So this men's Under Armour jersey, new at Tag. This was a retail arbitrage purchase from TJ Maxx. I have four dollars into it and it sold for fifteen dollars plus ship not huge money this sold before and then the buyer asked to cancel like before i shipped it out so i don't know why but that makes me just <laughs> want to get rid of it sooner even though it's still a perfectly good item all right and then last sale so far another pair of tiva these are the tiva flip-flops the mush kind and these sold for sixteen dollars plus shipping I have two ninety nine into them. Sweet. So yeah, really good weekend. Yeah. So I think we're gonna go ahead and pack these ones up, and then we'll cut right into tomorrow's uh, and to see what else sold from this point on. All right, guys, we are back. It is Monday afternoon, and we actually didn't. It is actually post office is closed right now, so. <laughs> These sales came in afterwards. We had a busy day this morning. We'll get into that, but uh, we have a few more things to pull right now. We did take those other packages to the post office earlier, but. Yeah, these guys are gonna have to wait till the morning. First thing I sold was uh, just a Bowdoin Raglan t-shirt. That was my son's. I don't remember where I got it or anything, but I sold it for $12.92 plus shipping. And then P. Sold these Adidas golf shorts and I have $4.99 into them. I sold them for $27.25 plus shipping. And last but not least, this was Chris's thrift yeah. item. <laughs> this one had me excited. So these hokas that he got when we did the thing with Becky Parks challenge. Or I don't know if it was a challenge, but just when I went and thrifted my yeah. first thrift haul by myself, I found those hokas. I think what I paid like twelve bucks or something. Yep, twelve ninety nine and two sixty five dollars. A guest buyer bought them on Poshmark, which means they probably found them on Google or something, and so they don't like make an offer. They just buy them straight from where they wherever they found them. So yeah, sixty five dollars. So that means we get like I think fifty two because it's like a thirteen dollar fee. So yeah, really good sale there. Yeah, and that was basically everything yeah. else that we've sold. That was all today. Yeah, which... so we've. Do you want me to say what we've been doing all day? Yeah. Yeah, so we have a new thrift store open up in town. So um, the same, like, branch of this thrift store, they have one um, in Pueblo, Colorado. And, and Canyon, Canyon City. City. Yeah. yeah, so. Which is, they're both very far away from us. Right. At least so an hour drive. So we've been drive. to at least the Pueblo one. I don't think the Canyon City one. But anyways, we like the, the chain or whatever. Yeah. So we went to check it out thinking, oh, we'll just pop in. See <laughs> so what it's like. <laughs> six hours later, I <laughs> have two carts full of things now to sell. And yeah, I never got home to do any sort of work today. I mean, that's work, but yeah, I was there. We got there right at opening at nine and I, well, Chris took our little guy to school. So he had to go back and get him about 1130. But then I stayed and looked through clothes because when he was with me, we looked at shoes, hard goods, electronics, books, yeah. things like that, um, and got quite a bit of those. And then I went back in for clothes. And honestly, I stayed, what, three more hours and still only got through the men's section. So 
It's a. It's not even that big of a store, so no, I don't know. It's, it's new. Ne it was never. It had never been picked over yeah, yet. So, so I wanted was, to like touch every yeah. item and make sure I'm not missing anything. So. Yeah, it didn't seem like there was very many resellers like us going through there when we were going through. But so yeah, I'm excited. We'll do a haul for that. Yeah, and... an awesome haul. I found some good stuff that I'm excited <laughs> about. So yeah. And then we did. I don't think we'd mentioned our last day of our garage sale, which was Saturday. Um, I think overall we did what like maybe two hundred and fifty, three hundred dollars. Yeah. Close to three hundred dollars. Close to three hundred dollars in sales. Really junk. <laughs> which yeah, it was all stuff that we were just ready to get rid of, and I think we uh, we donated uh, four bags, yeah. maybe like four small garbage bags worth of stuff afterwards. But just Most getting rid of stuff. old stuff and personal stuff. Um, but yeah, garage sale. And actually, I don't know. Should I mention what I found at our neighbor's garage sale? Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, we have a neighbor who's moving out and they're clearing a bunch of big stuff and I found a uh, one of those old rainbow vacuums and he sold it to me for 20 bucks so that's what he had on it and I think they're going for like 150 200 something like that even <laughs> I even tested it out I used it on our downstairs and it works pretty good I like it I, we might keep it I don't know, we might keep bit. it a little bit do some deep cleaning because a good deal. Reese, our fur ball, he, uh, he leaves hair everywhere. So I think anybody who has had a Labrador knows what I mean. They just shed like crazy. And yeah, so I was excited about that. Um, and I think Kathy actually bought maybe four or five clothing pieces. Um, oh, nothing too crazy, but we uh, that, that was actually all the sourcing that we were able to do at the garage sales because it was so busy Saturday. I mean, we probably had... 200 people come by 200 groups of people <laughs> i mean there was caravans out. it was like people would come in waves and we, so we only stayed out for like two hours and then packed up because yeah. we pretty much were sold out of anything yeah we're we were so picked over everything else was just knickknacks that nobody wanted so we yes. felt bad having people come by and have nothing to buy <laughs> nothing of value right so um yeah we just uh packed it up a couple hours early and that was that so we had a great time uh, it probably wasn't totally worth our time. No, like if we would have been sourcing and listing and stuff instead of garage selling well, I did or putting sell. on a garage sale, <laughs> we uh, we probably would have made more money doing that. But it was good to get rid of stuff and not have to take it to a dump, right? So yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we are going to go ahead and just pack these ones up off camera. And I don't know, we might be able to get them to the post office if we go <laughs> up in town, but we might not. These will probably go off in the morning. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.